Welcome to the Chamber 19 Glitchless Guide. In this video, we're going to be going over the beginner route and the advanced route for Chamber 19. The route for this chamber actually starts in the previous map, Chamber 18. After you complete Chamber 18, you'll want to enter the elevator and look at a pitch of negative 27 and a yaw as close to zero as possible. Then, you'll want to walk forward and center yourself with the elevator doors. Just keep holding forward here until the game stops your movement automatically. The first half of Chamber 19 is the same for both beginner players and advanced players. As soon as you see the loading text, start holding W. After you start moving, you want to hold right click. Then, after the orange portal shoots, you want to jump, crouch, look down, and shoot blue into the floor. If you find jumping into the blue portal to be too inconsistent for you, you can just walk forwards, look down, and shoot the blue instead. After you land, you want to continue holding crouch, look up to the right, and shoot blue on the ceiling between the left wall and the right wall. Shooting this shot in the center helps reduce the amount of mouse movement you need for the shot after the next shot. Now uncrouch, and move your mouse up and to the right a bit. You want to shoot blue against that wall slightly above the platform, near the center of that panel. Now place your crosshair on the far wall below the sliding door and to the right of the column sticking out of the goo. Then shoot blue. Then move your mouse to the left a bit, shoot blue against that far wall to the right of that column. Now look up and shoot blue against the bottom of this oil spill on this far wall. Now look up and to the left until you've completely turned upside down and you're looking at this far wall. This motion feels a bit unnatural at first, but with enough practice, you can get this down pretty quick. This shot can also be done up and to the right if you prefer. It's really up to you which way you decide to do it. Now shoot blue against that back wall. Then aim down and to the right a bit and shoot blue against this black line on this wall. Aim down and to the right a bit and shoot blue through this tiny little gap between these two pipes. Look down to the left and shoot blue next to that beam on that far wall. Look up to the left and shoot blue on that far wall next to the door. Before going any further, I want to show you a very common issue and how to recover from it. Sometimes when you go to shoot this shot here, which we sometimes call Dorito shot, you'll fall out of the portal. This is usually because the portal you shoot at the very beginning is at an angle, or you shot this portal too far to the right. Regardless, there's an easy enough recovery that does not lose very much time. Just shoot orange against this wall, peek blue next to this beam, and then peek another blue next to the door. Jump out of the portal, look at the door, and press your use bind. It's important to wait a moment before pressing use, otherwise it won't actually work. While the door is opening, aim your crosshair towards this fence. There's a bit of wall behind it that you can shoot on, but you need to wait until the door opens a certain amount before you can actually shoot, otherwise your shot will just fizzle. Shoot orange, turn to your left, and walk towards your blue portal. Once you're through the portal, you want to be looking at the wall as close to the door as you can. You want to shoot orange and press your use bind at the same time. Move towards your orange portal and start looking towards the door. You want to aim at the wall behind this spinning fan. Shoot a blue portal at this wall. Turn around and walk through your orange portal. Aim at this far wall at the bottom part of the panel. Shoot blue and step back through your portal. Peek back into your orange portal and look up towards this pipe. Alternatively, you can switch your portals here instead and shoot orange on that far wall. This does mean that your next portal is going to be an orange shot, not a blue shot. You want to shoot blue into the center. Then, you want to step back into your portal. Before going into the pipe is a good place to make a save. Now walk forward through your orange portal, and when you start falling, hold crouch. When entering the pipe, you want to make sure that you're entering in the center, not to the left or the right. At this point, the route splits for beginner players and advanced players. If you consider yourself a beginner, just keep watching. This section does contain valuable information for advanced players too. Throughout the tube, you can do bunny hops. You're better off not jumping when you get to this corner because it's very likely that you'll get stuck. It's also best if you don't jump at the bottom or the top of this portion of the tube either for the same reason as the corner. However, the advanced section does cover how to jump in all three of these places optimally. Try to fall directly into the center of this pit. Shoot a blue portal on the ground in front of the fizzler. Turn around and shoot an orange portal against this wall. Walk through the orange portal and straight to the right. Walk forward onto the button and shoot a blue portal into the hallway through the door. Walk in front of the button, look at the ground and shoot an orange portal. After going through the portal, look to the right and shoot orange on the wall next to the fizzler. Walk back through your portal and jump into the pit. Turn around and shoot blue into the floor. Look up and shoot orange onto this low ceiling here. You want to shoot this portal as far forward as possible as it reduces the amount of distance that you need to crouch walk. After your feet hit the ground, you want to start holding crouch. 
Be careful not to start holding crouch too early, because if you do, you might get crouch bounced. Once you're fully crouched, you can start holding forward. Uncrouch and walk over to these stairs. Stand at the top of the stairs and line yourself up with this black line on the ground. Then, look towards this hallway and line yourself up with the corner of the wall that has the light next to it. This next shot is a bit tricky. You're going to jump and try and shoot a blue portal at that very distant wall. This might take you a few attempts, so just keep adjusting where your crosshair is until you can see the shot. There is an alternative to this jump shot that is slower, but it might be easier. After exiting the portal, walk over to this ledge and drop down. Hold W towards the beam in the corner of this little wall here. Once you're wedged into the corner, you want to jump and very quickly press and release your forward bind. You should now be standing on the very corner of this ledge. Look towards the hallway and do the same jump shot. This might be easier for you because you can see a lot more of that distant wall when you're doing the jump shot from this far back. However, this is considerably slower than doing the lineup. Turn to the left and walk back to the low hanging ceiling area. About here, you want to start holding crouch and looking up towards the portable surface. Once you can see the shot, shoot your orange portal. Let go of crouch, but keep holding W. While standing, look down towards the top of this wall and shoot blue. Turn around and look up. Now you need to jump, shoot orange, and strafe to the right all at the same time. If you find the strafe to be too difficult, or you've accidentally messed this up, come to the bottom of the pit, shoot an orange portal against this wall, and simply walk onto the ledge. And just like that, you've completed Chamber 19 Glitchless. Now, I'm going to be covering the advanced route. Even if you're an advanced player, you should still watch the beginner's guide before continuing. Again, make sure you're entering the tube in the center. To prevent getting stuck on the upcoming corner, try to b-hop to the right a bit and strafe to the left into the turn. You don't want to be b-hopping against the left wall as that's usually how you get stuck. You can technically jump at the bottom of the pipe here, but it's very likely to cause you to get stuck. The time save is so little that I can't recommend actually doing it. You want to jump when you're about two-thirds up this pipe. Another way to line this up is to look straight forwards and wait for your crosshair to be slightly below that black rim. Jumping here improves the spacing for the next hop pattern, and this will consistently set you up for a two-hop ledgeless. If you don't know what ledgeless means, I'll explain in a moment when we get there. After the jump, you should be doing strafes. The spacing for this last jump is very important. You need to be far enough forward that this jump lands you directly in that upcoming hole. Pre-jumping into the pit like this allows you to maintain more downward velocity into the fall, which then means you'll reach the bottom of the pit faster. Try to land directly in the center of the dropper. You want to land standing so your feet hit the trigger faster. You can crouch after you land. Shoot a blue portal on the ground in front of the fizzler. Look straight down and fire orange into the floor. You can start holding right shortly before you actually fall through the portal. Then, once you reach the other side, you want to do a hard strafe to the right. The goal is to hit your head on the ceiling of this entryway. Walk onto the button and shoot a blue portal into the hallway. Walk to whichever side of the button you are closest to and perform a QCE next to it. Look to your right and shoot orange against this wall next to the fizzler. Now just step through the portal and jump into the pit. While you're falling, turn around, look down, and shoot blue. Look up towards the ceiling as far back as possible and shoot orange. You can start aiming for the shot after you shoot blue while you're still falling. Stay standing until your feet hit the floor. Now start holding crouch and about halfway through the animation start holding W. Once you clear the ceiling, start jumping towards the top of the stairs. Now line the crosser up the same way I did before. Position yourself and do the jump shot. Turn to your left, walk forward a bit, and jump towards that low hanging ceiling. Look up and reshoot orange against the ceiling here. Now look up and around, walk backwards, and unduck. Once you're through the portal, jump and shoot orange at the same time. Then just strafe to the right and be up to the end. And that's how you optimally play Chamber 19.